heavyweight champion Anderson Silva. The pro record doesn't look like it did a few years ago, DC, but most people still inject the name Anderson Silva into the discussion. Fighter, and every time he walks in there, we're getting the witness greatness. You feel it when Anderson Silva walks up the steps. I remember staring across the octagon and going, holy cow, that's Anderson Silva. And he has that approach, he has that appeal to everyone that gets in front of him, not only in the octagon, but in life. One of the nicest guys you've ever met is Anderson Silva. And a renewed focus on recovery and physical therapy has allowed the great Anderson Silva to compete deep into his 40s, DC. You ain't going 45. There's no way. I ain't going to change. You're going to voice a video game. I'm going to voice a video game. What a great idea. Get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> This one just about right. to get underway. Good. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only encounter. We'll see if these guys can play by the rules. Not many rules, but you can't grapple at all. No wrestling of any kind. You also are not permitted to do follow-up strikes on the floor. We are underway. Looking to land the right just out of range. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Jeff snaps the head back. That should get his attention. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Able to land there with the straight back. Right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he's still standing after taking that punch. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a hope for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Oh, nice straight left. Oh, you got to love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was going to take it to this guy. That is exactly what he's doing as we start this fight. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off to take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the truth. <laughs> oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch. Power strike there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in trouble. All right, look at that. Look at that. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Coleman. And everything landed with so much power. So 28 total strikes. Oh! 
while both of them are landing massive shots. Oh, he's in trouble. Big right hand. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. There's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth. Sign the check, boss. These two young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment. And I can't wait until the next round gets started. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who will. Oh, well play shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Gets back to his feet. Oh, hard man. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, both. Both landed. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there. That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at two minutes, eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anderson the Spider. Well, he is still considered by some to be the greatest to ever do it, and Anderson Silva certainly did it tonight. What a performance for the future Hall of Famer. He let his myriad skills take over and made it look relatively easy at times. Big W for the Spider under the lights tonight.